What if Tracy McGrady never got injured? One of the biggest what ifs inside of the NBA community, maybe the biggest, um, probably up there in top three because he was so talented before his career ended up dwindling down because of injuries. He uh, missed a lot of time, all that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, Tracy McGrady was one of my favorite players growing up. So I've really wanted to do this video for a while. I've really wanted to make these type of videos for a while, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to be going four or five years into the future. Um, we might do a fifth year. It just matters how I feel at that point of the simulation. But I'm going to be doing two years on T-Max contract. And if this team is still terrible in two years, I'm going to trade them. It says six years every time I go into the the um, the editing and try to bring his contract down. It just freezes my game. And I, I have to close up and just restarted so i'm not even gonna deal with it i'm just gonna let it you know whatever I, I don't care i'm just gonna trade him if the team is terrible i'll trade him to wherever has the best package i'm not gonna pick and choose to where i want to trade him to um or uh, i'll do like a randomizer or something we'll figure something out but um yeah let's get straight into the simulation so coming down to the end of the season right here sorry if y'all heard my chair right there i don't know why i made that noise but um yeah, the Magic were not very good this year at all. Like, terrible. I think T Mac was really the only person putting up numbers. Yeah, right here on the All NBA First Team 32, 6, and 5. Unhumanly numbers 57% shooting, 40% um, from the three. Let me see, how many threes did he take? He attempted 329 threes this season and, and made 141, which is crazy. So, yeah, that's he he was balling this year but the team was terrible they didn't even make the playoffs i don't think yeah they didn't so um that's why i was telling y'all like i wanted to bring his contract down from six years but i like my game just won't let me i cannot go into it it just won't let me bring down the contract at all so yeah we're just gonna have to roll with it but um let me just sim the playoffs y'all saw who won like the mvps and stuff like that sorry i was um talking over all that but um i won't again i'm sorry but um yeah let me get through this playoffs right here who, who are in the finals the suns versus the wizards who won stefan marbury on the suns was he really yeah i think he was on the suns yeah, he was on the suns for that like one or two years did he end up going back to the nets after this or did he go to the knicks after this i think he went to the knicks right i can't really remember it would be interesting to see if he can end up um staying like very good through the simulation and michael jordan carried the wizards to the finals or not really carried because jerry stackhouse was doing crazy stuff too but um yeah can't believe michael jordan actually went to another finals is he gonna retire no i don't see him retiring so um yeah horace grant retires from the the magic and john stockton goes to the hall of fame Orlando Magic changing or rebranding, whatever. Let's go to the draft lottery because the Magic are in the draft lottery. What pick do they have? They have, uh, they're projected to get pick 11. So are they going to be able to move up in the draft and actually get somebody who can change the franchise alongside T Mac? Let's see. I mean, I don't expect it, but this is not, it's not very, it's not looking very good for the Magic franchise right now, especially at this point because. Grant Hill's already on that huge contract and he's hurt, so. Yep, Magic gets the 11th pick. Nothing surprising there. I'm just going to skip the rest. Um, the Heat end up getting the first pick. Supersonics, Pistons, Jazz, Grizzlies, Nuggets. Pretty pretty interesting top five because weren't the Nuggets one of the worst teams in the league at this point? So, let's see who the Magic take within this draft. I'm just going to sim through the draft and just go to the summary right after. So um, LeBron James went first, obviously. Chris Kamen went second. Bosh went third. Wade went fourth. And Melo dropped a five. I think he went two or three in real life. I think he went three because um, Darko Milicic was um, two. And the Magic took an uh, auto-generated player who's a 77 overall. So not the worst pick that I've ever seen. But they, and they picked Darko at <laughs> number 17, which is kind of crazy to be honest. But um. Yeah, it's not really player options right now. So we're just going to go right through free agency and look who they signed. I'm hoping that they sign somebody. It'd be cool if they sign somebody. They signed 
really nobody. They signed Pat Burke and re-signed Daryl Armstrong. That's that's really about it. So this team is not looking very good for the next year. I can't go into the coaching game plan right now because y'all know like it's off season. I don't know why I even tried to do that in the first place. But yeah, let me look real quick. Yeah, it's really team Mac and that's about it. Grant Hill ain't really doing that much on this team. I mean, he was hurt. This is another big what if player and I'm telling y'all right now, I don't I don't like to spoil a lot of my videos, but I will 100% make a Grant Hill video within the future. Don't worry about it. But um yeah, there's really nobody else on this team. This team is not going to be good this year. I mean, unless T Mac miraculously like brings the team to a playoffs, I just don't think the team is going to be very good. Um but yeah let's just get straight into this next season i'll bring y'all back when the season is over we'll go over the awards all that stuff and if the magic make the playoffs hopefully we can hop in at the end of the second season tim duncan wins the mvp i think shaq won it the first season so this is a new one lebron obviously rookie of the year he's rookie of the year in every single simulation that you do in the kobe era jay williams six man of the year good to see him playing ben wallace defensive player of the year again player that you always see on here than the Kobe era and Tony Parker is most improved and the Spurs went 70 and 12. Um, so T-Mac made it to the all NBA second team averaged basically the same numbers of, but a little bit more on um, basically the same efficiency but better efficiency from the three-point line took about he took even more threes took about 100 more threes and still had better efficiency so um, yeah that's pretty crazy to be honest nobody else here from the magic obviously but the magic did make the four seed so they did have a good year i was wrong i was wrong 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 on what i was saying mike miller carried behind t-mac like mike miller put up some really good numbers grant hill didn't do too bad um and then yeah it's just a lot of role player numbers like nothing really crazy but um yeah t-mac man just, just t-mac that's all i'm gonna say just t-mac so let's just get through uh who are we playing we're playing the 76ers so they're gonna have Allen iverson yeah Allen iverson maurice peterson it's really about it keith van horn it's really about it we take game one they take game two they take game three we take game four we take game five and they take game six so we have a game seven right here I hate how every time I want to do this, but I want to control all teams. I have to just go through this. Like, just it just kind of ruins this sometimes. But um, yeah, the Sixers are out here to an early lead. Is team not gonna lead the Magic back into it? It's not looking like it, to be honest. They're down by like 17, 16, down 25. Yeah, this game is over with. It's yeah, yeah, man. I, I don't know. This wasn't very. It wasn't a very good game. T Mac just put up crazy numbers. Frank Marks a little bit better than the season. Grant Hill dropped off kind of. Mike Miller had really the same numbers. There's nobody really to pinpoint it on to be on. Well actually let's look at the last box score. Yeah, this I I think Grant Hill sold. Grant Hill gotta be the one that you would you would pinpoint all this on because he was supposed to come here and be a star player and just didn't really do much. But let's sim the rest of the playoffs. Um Milwaukee and Chicago, Golden State, San Antonio. San Antonio is going to win. Oh, the Bulls won. I'm sorry. I've been speaking too early and really jinxing, really jinxing everything. The Bulls with Jamal Crawford, Jalen Rose, Tyson Chandler, Jay Williams, um, Pfizer. I, I'm a Bulls fan, and I don't even know who this is. Um, yeah, that's going to sound pretty bad in the video, but I don't really care. But, yeah, they just won against Jermaine O'Neal, who's who goes there in every single sim i don't know why jermaine o'neal goes to san antonio in every single sim tim duncan obviously tony parker manu random steven jackson and old david robinson so yeah david robinson did get his last title i guess or if that was earlier i can't really remember to be honest but um yeah the bulls won that's pretty nice to see because uh, if you guys know the bulls are my favorite team so i'm not really that mad about that one to be honest but um, let me go to staff retirements. Who really cares about Hall of Fame and all that stuff? We just care about Tracy McGrady in this video. That's why everybody clicked on it. Um, the Charlotte Bobcats are added as an expansion team. I want to see. I, I usually like to go into the um, the expansion just to see like what teams ended up putting up. 
I don't think the Magic have any picks this year. Let's look at the protect players. So they didn't protect Ralph Westbrook. I was like, is that Russell Westbrook as a 66 overall in 2003? Nah, it was Ralph. But um, I just want to look at something real quick. So if can we even trade Tracy McGrady at this point? Let me go to the NBA draft. Can we even trade him? No, there's no offer. So I'm going to leave him for this year. This year is going, if, if the Magic are horrible this year, I'm pulling the plug on this. I'm pulling the plug. And I'm trading him. We got Sean Livingston. I'm going to bring in these guys because they obviously need squad depth. Um, Devin Harris went above Dwight Howard. So Devin, I mean not Devin, Dwight Howard continued continuously every sim I do on the um, like the early 2000s. Dwight Howard is the most disrespected player. How is Devin Harris going above Dwight Howard in the draft? That's insane. Iguodala goes third. Um, Tony Allen goes seventh. Jameer Nelson goes 8th, Ben Gordon goes 11th, yeah, just a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of, um, what's it called, 2k generated players, so we're just gonna go right past free agency, and if the Magic don't sign nobody, I don't even know, you better sign somebody, Magic, you better, they sign literally nobody, they sign literally nobody at all we we have jock bond as our starting pg for the year it's it's not looking very good i'm just gonna let y'all know right now i just want to see what the what the um the coaching game plan is like because i feel like this year would probably be the year to give young guys the minutes like i would rather give sean livingston the minutes than jock bond because sean livingston can actually improve like darko milicic can improve grant hill is horrible so i mean like mike miller left we lost mike miller mike miller just they let mike miller walk I, I don't even know what is wrong with this team why why are you letting mike miller walk he's your second leading scorer from last year and you're letting him walk yeah he's on the pistons now which it's just it's annoying i'm not gonna lie it's annoying it's annoying with the computer simulator with this with these teams because the ai in this game acts so stupid they act so dumb and yeah let's just get straight into the to the third year this is the last year if the magic are horrible so um yeah let's go so at the end of the third season tracy mcgrady wins the mvp 37 points a game seven rebounds six assists 56 percent shooting 45 percent from the three crazy crazy mike miller was really what was holding tracy now i'm just playing but um quinn richardson wins six man kobe wins defensive player of the year maurice peterson wins most improved player so did they even make the playoffs yeah they made it they were 50 they were let me tell y'all like their record is not that good at all it's like let me look it's oh yeah no it got better when i looked up it was like 32 to 30 like i thought they were legitimately not gonna make the playoffs charlotte bobcats made the playoffs first year within the league and they made the playoffs crazy that's how weak the east is right now but um bulls did not even make the playoffs they won the finals last year did not even make the playoffs with the same exact core so um except jay williams i think jay williams left so yeah they didn't even make the playoffs so let's just get through this right now we're playing the bucks i think they have ray allen yeah ray allen michael red tim thomas um sam cassell so um just a better team than ours i'm just gonna be honest but hopefully we win hopefully we can take this round hopefully we can they take game one they take game two they we take game three they take game four mm. yeah we're done ah <sighs> man It's so depressing doing some of these career sims because I wanted, I had a big idea for this to where I was going to do it for two years on his contract and he might have left as the Bucks win the finals and Ray Allen was the finals MVP. But I was going to put it to where there's two, um, like two years on his contract, everything. If I go into there, it's just going to pause my game and I have to re-record the whole video again. So um, yeah, I'm not doing that at this point. Staff retirement is nothing. Hakeem Elijah won. 
is in the Hall of Fame. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, honestly. I'm just disappointed. I'm really disappointed because they're not even going to get a pick, so they're going to be stuck in mediocrity for I don't even know how long. Oh, no, they do have a pick. Where'd it go? Didn't they have a pick? I guess so it had to be like top three protected or something. So, um... Yeah, I think I'm pulling the plug on this whole magic operation. Let's see who they get within the draft. Let's see who goes first, blah, blah, all that. Um, Chris Ball goes first. Darren Williams goes third. Um, Andrew Bogut goes fifth. I think he was the first pick. Gerald Green, Martian Gortat, Raymond Felton, Danny Granger, Channing Fry. Who do we get? We got Roy Flanders. I'm pulling the plug. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pulling the plug. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So let's go to free agency and I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna pick a random team. Just gonna go randomly. We're just gonna go fully randomly right here. Doesn't matter who. It could be anybody. I just hope it's a contender. San Antonio Spurs. Now, do I want to make the video as like. I don't know if I should do this because it's just gonna be really, really, really just San Antonio wins every year for the rest of the season, for the rest of the um, the sim. Let me do one more. Let's see where we land. If I'm gonna do three in total, and I'll pick from the three. So we landed on the, the Trailblazers, definitely not. And then we landed on the Spurs again. Let's go again. We landed on the Mavericks. I'm bringing them to the Mavericks. I wanted to play alongside um, I wanted to play alongside what's it called? Dirk, so let me go to where I can go and um do the trades real quick. So I'll bring y'all back once I um do all the trades and all that. So I've kind of put together a realistic package, quote unquote realistic, to where the Mavericks get Tracy McGrady and Pat Garcy. I don't know who this is. And the Mavericks trade away or the Magic get Michael Finley, who's like old but he's not terrible yet they get a 2009 pick 2007 pick marcus banks who's an ai generated player uh 2008 second round and a 2006 second round actually to make this a little bit more realistic i'm gonna put in a 2008 so let's see do all use the teams yes so boom except the trade right there three picks michael finley and an ai generated young player who can maybe get some minutes on this magic team to me that's not that bad of a trade it's not the worst as um t-mac goes to play with dirk nowitzki so he kind of goes to get his sidekick like he did with the rockets when yao ming was there but um yeah let's see how this sim goes this is probably uh, the most interesting team that i've ever seen so far i'm not really gonna touch anything they can sign who they want to sign they got raymond felton in the draft so um hopefully this team will be finals contending pretty early so um let's see if they get anybody in free agency real quick before i go into the season did they get anybody they got nick van exel not a bad piece to be honest not a terrible piece i mean he's pretty old but he's gonna be a good backup shooting guard for this team let's see what their starting lineup look like i just want to see the rotation real quick i like to see the rotations every time before i end up simming the year just to show y'all how many minutes these guys are even getting so tracy mcgrady's getting about 37 dirk's getting about uh 37 same so um yeah they're kind of small forward short like they don't really have any weight Why is this guy starting? Why would you not start this guy when he's three higher rated than this guy? That's confusing. I'm just gonna get straight into the sim, hoping this team contends. I hope Dirk and Tracy McGrady can have the years of their life and we can see um just we could be entertained. We can get into some games maybe and yeah, let's get straight into this. So at the end of the fourth year, LeBron James, this is where the takeover starts, where he wins every single MVP, putting up 30, 9, and 6, uh, shooting not terrible from the three-pointer, because if y'all remember, he wasn't really a three-point shooter when he was younger. Chris Paul wins the MVP on the Raptors. Um, Kobe Bryant was defensive player of the year. And Frank Marks, as soon as Tracy McGrady left, 
goes off, starts getting better and better. So maybe I shouldn't have traded him. But um, Tracy McGrady, first team again, 28, 7, and 6. The numbers kind of dropped off because he isn't like the only person on that team. But um, Dirk is here too. So um, yeah, they put up pretty good collective numbers both together. They ended up being not even making the they like bro they didn't even make the playoffs i like when i tell y'all i'm doing this with y'all like I'm, I'm doing this with y'all so i don't even know if they made the playoffs they were the 10th seed dirk Nowitzki prime and tracy mcgrady prime are the 10th seed to be honest looking at some of the other teams around they kind of look similar like how how are the jazz with a what a good Dwayne Wade, prime Andre Kirilenko, and prime El Gauskas, and Larry Hughes, the, the 11th seed. Who's the lowest seed? Yeah, the Hornets aren't very good. But um, the Rockets with Yao Ming and Steve Francis are the 13th. Damn, this West is stacked. I don't remember how stacked this West was until you look at it, but like, the Supersonics making it over us? Bro, damn. I really wish the Mavericks would have made it. Like, I, I was really excited to get into some Sims. Let's just go straight to it. I don't even care who wins the finals, bro. Um, Bucks versus Timberwolves. Timberwolves win it with Kevin Garnett. Finally, Kevin Garnett gets to win a title all on his own. Sean Kemp retires as long as a morning. Latrell Sprewell. Um, David Wesley. Penny Hardaway. Historic changes. Just some rebranding. League meetings. Just reject everything because you know it's stupid. So, the Magic were the fifth, the fifth spot in the draft. They did not have a good year again. The Mavericks, the 12th spot. They're probably not going to move up. Yep, same spot. So, let's just go to the rookie signings. Let's see who they end up getting, who the Magic end up getting to. Because I'm interested to see where the Magic end up going um, within this sim. So, the Magic end up getting Rudy Gay. Bargnani goes first. Aldridge, Millsap, um, Rondo. Who do we get lionel lewis I, I just hate how within kyle lowry i just hate how within these like um drafts there's so many ai generated players like look at how many of them there are there's just way too many and it just gets really annoying like i wish they maybe maybe what 2k could do is just have like realer face scans because you can tell that these are so fake. Like have people come in, have people from the street and stuff come in and just take face scans. And you can ask them if you could use their likeness or something. Just just make it, you can definitely make it 10 times more realistic. So um, yeah, we get a glass cleaner. I think obviously a center. Bring back that guy on a team option. Gilbert Arenas declines. Jermaine O'Neal declines. Zerbiak declines. Basically everybody who wasn't on a rookie deal declines. I think no Chris Bosch is the team so yeah basically everybody on a player option declined hopefully we can get somebody in free agency just somebody just maybe some good role players just to put around these guys maybe a deep team if we can build a deep team like a 2011 um Mavericks we should be good let's see who we're gonna get we're gonna get Brent Barry. That's really about it. I think it's just a bunch of AI generated players and Brent Barry. Not the worst, to be honest, because small forward was terrible. That was literally our worst position like last year. So small forward, not horrible, but still, it, it, I don't think this team is good enough to. I, I love it how I trade thinking that, you know, we're going to make playoffs and then we just don't. It's crazy. I'm just I'm baffled right now. So like. Uh, what what the what the video has really answered right now is that T Mac would have been one of the best players from the 2000s, but would have just been on terrible teams with terrible pieces surrounded by him. So um, yeah, that's what this has answered so far. We're gonna do maybe one or two more years. It really matters if the team is horrible this year. I'm just gonna trade him to a new team and run one more year, run it back as a final like last dance Jordan type s thing. But um. Yeah, let's see if they even make the playoffs so I can, yeah, let's just see. So at the end of the fifth season and maybe the last, Gilbert Arenas wins MVP. 31, 
10 and 4 shot 50 percent wow good stuff gilbert that's all i'm gonna say um some random was the the rookie of the year at charlotte same guy every single year has won this like this guy's was six out of the year literally every single year he's been in the league um defensive player of the year kobe again nice and some random was the most improved so um no T Mac here, no T Mac there, and no T. Oh, yeah, T Mac's in the third team. So T Mac and Dirk both make the third team. They made the playoffs. Okay. They finally made the playoffs. They're going to have to play who's on Denver. They're going to have to play Richard Hamilton, Richard Jefferson, and AI generated players. Basically, about it. Um, I want to see what their rotation is because they did bring in better centers, but they're playing Pat Burke over every single other center, which I really don't get why. What is the point on having a 7-3 center that's a rookie sitting on your bench? I just, I don't get it. I, I want to see what he can do with minutes. So let's bring Pat Burke's minutes down and bring this guy's minutes up and see really what he can do. Um, game one, Denver. Game two, us. Game three, Denver again. We take game four. We take game five. And we take game six. There we go. Boom. Right there. We're out into the second round. We have to play Memphis, who have Carmelo. This is the fifth. This is um, I think they picked fifth in that year. Definitely got a steal. Mike Bibby. Pau Gasol, Stromile Swift, yeah, this team is scary. This is a scary team. I'm not going to lie. This is a very scary team. They take game one. They take game two. We take game three. We take game four. We take game five. They take game six. Okay, Simcast. Come on, let this be a close game. Let this be a close game. Come on. No blowout. Please don't blow them out. Please don't. Oh, my God. God, uh, are you serious? Like, what? I, I'm not gonna like. I don't have a face cam yet to show you guys that my jaw literally dropped. Look at the fourth quarter box score: thirty-nine to fifteen. Okay, we gotta hop in. We gotta hop in. We gotta. We gotta hop in. We gotta see T Mac live in the flesh right here. We're gonna go to choose size to the CPU. I'm not playing this game. And then obviously we're gonna go in and change the camera again. So let's see. Sean Bradley's bringing out the ball. He's gonna give it to T Mac. I'm gonna think. Yeah, T Mac goes backcourt. I thought they were gonna get a backcourt. They give it to Ali. Ali has the ball at the top of the key. Brent Berry, 4-3. He's going to miss that. I can already see it. You can tell when people miss. Sean Bradley grabs the board. T-Mac is not going to take that. Definitely thought he was about to take that. What's going to happen right here? They're going to go for the buzzer beater? I think they're going to go for the buzzer beater. They got 13 seconds left on the shot clock. They got like one second in between. T-Mac, top of the key. T-Mac. T-Mac goes into the paint. T-Mac hits the layup to maybe bring... The Dallas Mavericks to the Western Conference Finals. Ooh, they were down by 30 points at the end of the third quarter. And they might pull off the ultimate upset against Carmelo Anthony and the Grizzlies. Come on. Come on. 3.7 seconds left. It's Grizzlies ball. Just guard Carmelo. Please guard Carmelo. Pau Gasol, he's not going to shoot that three. But, but Melo will shoot that three. Melo will shoot that three. I'm telling y'all he will. Please guard him. Please guard Carmelo. They're going to try and look for Carmelo. I know they are. Oh, God. Carmelo has it. Carmelo's going to shoot the three. Oh, no. He goes to the mid-range. He, ma <gasps> he makes it. Oh, my God. All that coming back to... <sighs> Man. Man. Man, all that work to come back to go to OT. I mean, it still was work put in, but still, at the end of the day, man, 
that, that was good defense. You can't do nothing about that. That's Carmelo Anthony. You're not going to be able to do nothing. So let's just go into the Simcast. Let's see what happens within this overtime period. They're up by four. We come back. They're up by four still. Down by two. Down by two still. Tied. Up by two. Tied again. We're up by one. Okay, jump in. T-Mac is at the line right now with 25 seconds left. Carmelo Anthony has 37 points and 9 assists, shooting 61% from the field, but he has fouled out. I think he has fouled out. Let's go check. Carmelo Anthony has fouled out. Mike Bibby has 5. Pau Gasol has 5. Um, T-Mac has 1, so T-Mac's not going to foul out. We're good on that. We don't have to even worry about that. 25 seconds left. Dallas up by 2. They, they could still pull off the upset. Dirk and T-Mac can pull off the upset to go to the Western Conference Finals. They really can. Come on. Come on, let's go. Play some defense. Play some good defense. We got Pat Birkin to guard Pau Gasol. Pau Gasol in the paint. Oh, God, Pat Burke. Why is Pat Burke in the damn game? What does... Why is Pat Burke even in the game? Just take him out the game. Like, just take him out. I'll take him out if y'all want me to. I, I'll just hop in and go and shoot sides and take him out of the game. I don't care. I don't want Pat Burke in this game. I don't. Like, it's just going to ruin. It's going to ruin our gaming experience. I, I don't think. I, know, I can't even take him out. Those. Oh, no, I can. Substitutions. Yeah. I don't know why I'm scrolling over substitutions like an idiot. But um, I'm putting in Sean Bradley. Bring in the big guy. And bring in Raymond Felton. I don't know why we don't have him in when Ali has 60 energy. But um, yeah, let's go back into, or let's make sure they bring in these actually. Okay, so yeah, they bring in those. Let's go back into here. Okay. 17 seconds left, tie game. T-Mac has a mismatch or yeah, I think he does have a mismatch. I don't know who that is. It's a, definitely a real face scan. I just don't know who that is. T-Mac, top of the key. They're going for the buzzer beater. They're going for it. T-Mac can send his team to the... Yo, what? What the... F what? What was that? 2K, you gotta fix your AI. You really do, because what... What was that? Why did he just sit at the top of the key and wait for the... Hall of Fame difficulty too. I'm not gonna lie, Hall of Fame difficulty. The the best difficulty in the game. They brought Pat Burke into the game again. I just you know what? Play with Pat Burke. See where it gets you. See see where I mean if y'all win, then I guess I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Yep. I guess I'm wrong. T Mac and Dirk Nowitzki end up pulling off the upset in double overtime to bring the Dallas Mavericks to the Western Conference Finals. Dirk had 37 and 14, shooting 12 for 15. T-Mac had 36, 8 and 9, shooting 11 for 24. Raymond Felton at 25 and 6, shooting 9 for 13. Kevin Ollie shot 50% at 11 assists. Um, Pat Berg didn't have a terrible game. Brent Berry almost sold the game. And... Um, Lionel Lewis didn't have a very good game. Same with Nick Van Exel. But the Dallas Mavericks do end up going on to the Western Conference Finals. Let's go. That was probably the most intense game in one of my Sims yet. So, yeah, we got to play the Suns now. And I think this is, no, this is the Suns with Stephon Marbury, Sean Marion, and Amari Stoudemire. So instead of having an elite playmaker like Steve Nash, they have an elite playmaker that's a really good scorer. So let's see how this goes. Come on, come on, Dallas. Come on. Dallas, take game one. See, Phoenix, take game two. Phoenix, take game three. Phoenix, take game four. And we are out. We're out. Phoenix versus the Raptors. And Chris Paul ends up winning the NBA Finals. Now, one thing about this sim. One, one big thing about this simulation is that... um, Like... The finals matchups have been very weird. It's not really been a set team that makes the finals every single year like it is in a Magic and Bird era, like it is within the Jordan era. Like it, it, it's really, this is why I like the Kobe era the most because it's really different. 
it's not just one team that makes it every single year it's so many different teams that can make it that's why i like simming in this era but um sean bradley retires alan houston retires robert ori um etc etc historic changes i don't think there's really any league meetings nothing and um draft lottery I don't even think we're magic are in it still magic still aren't really that good I'm kind of glad we traded now um let's go to the rookie signings yeah I'm gonna do one more year I'm gonna do one more year I'm gonna do one more year I will Kevin Durant goes first Greg Oden Mike Con yeah Mike Conley um Al Horford Gian or however you say that name I forgot how to say it to be honest um who do we take who do we get we we must have a low or yeah oh no we gave the magic this pick so they ended up taking rudy net so yeah we, we don't it doesn't even matter who we get within these um raymond felton yeah we're we're definitely taking raymond felton back so for this free agency i want to see do we have any type of money i don't think we do so we can't really sign anybody um at all i want to go in and sign a center to be honest i i honestly don't care i just want to sign a center because this team has no centers like at all and i'm gonna end up signing like tyron lu or something too because or is tyron lu even gonna come here yeah he is I, i'm making the signings i'm taking over the gm role for this free agency and this free agency only just so we can bring in actual players or is it prepared to, oh i forgot i was gonna do all this i was like bro what the hell we got lebron james <laughs> I was, I was about to look at my screen so weird like we got lebron james like okay um i'm gonna be offering quinn was the contract too yeah, i don't care about none of these i don't care i only care about the dallas mavericks that's it the dallas mavericks so after this free agency y'all saw who i just signed i had to take over the gm role because i want to make a finals push this year so the team is pretty deep Raymond Felton, um, Kevin Ali, we have Nick Van Exel, and um, where, oh, there, here's my signs, Quinn Woods, we have um, Marquise James, and Lionel Lewis, okay, so yeah, let's go, let's go, let's get straight into this here, let's go, come on, we gotta be on a revenge mission, T-Mac, T-Mac and Dirk, y'all gotta put up 30 plus this year, together, as a collective, we have to put up 30 plus, there's no way that we don't put up 30 plus this year, we, we just got to, we, we got to make the finals this year. This is the last year of the simulation. This is make or break last dance Jordan-esque type, whatever you want to call it. We got to make the NBA finals this year. So at the end of the last season, LeBron James wins the MVP again. Kevin Durant wins the most improved or most improved rookie of the year. Kyle Lowry wins the sixth man of the year. Tim Duncan defensive player. Kyle Lowry most improved. Greg Popovich win. And... Nobody from the Mavericks, nobody from the Mavericks, and Dirk Nowitzki makes it. Now, why I sound so depressed? This is the worst season that that Team Mac had in the league, legitimately. Stats wise or standings wise, not even standings wise, just record wise. They went 34 or 49. When I took over as GM of this team, this team right here with Raymond Felton, who's playing up about 15 a game. They had Kevin Ollie, who's a good um, role player. T Mac, who's putting up 28, 6 and 6. And Nick Van Exel, who didn't even really play. Brent Barry, good role player. The Storp guy, good role player. Dirk, putting up 21 and 9. Um, Quinn was putting up like all right numbers. Jared Dudley didn't even play. Um, Marquise James, yeah, when I took over, they just did terrible. They, it's as simple as that. They just did terrible. Um, I'll just sim through the playoffs right now if y'all want to see who wins this NBA Finals because they have been different every single year. So let's see just who makes it. And um, yeah, that'll be the end of the video after. So Timberwolves and the Cavs and Timberwolves end up skunking the Cavs. Who, who's on the Cavs team? Um, they have Gatling, Devin Harris, Kyle Lowry, Ricky Davis, I don't know how that team made the finals. Really don't. I'm just really, I'm just really, 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 really disappointed with T Mac with this whole year, to be honest. I really thought they were gonna end up making a finals push this year, but um 
yeah this was a pretty disappointing video just like the scotty one it doesn't really go well every single time but um yeah soon i will start doing rebuilds so it's like guaranteed finals wins within some of these but um right now i'm sticking to uh, career scenarios with the ones that i want to do i'll probably i'll be bringing these out like every two days about that like every really two days every other day of the week i will be having a new video out for y'all um if y'all have stuck around within the time that i did change my content so um i used to do like part content and now i'm doing this type of content if you stuck around or if you're new uh thank you for supporting the channel i really appreciate y'all um hopefully i'll have some better equipment soon um i'm just kind of i'm just still working on that and stuff like that so um yeah i'm working with what i got right now but i will be having new videos every other day like i said sorry i'm just looking at something on my computer if i'm being repetitive but um yeah it's been grateful and i'm out peace thank you for the support